So, we're always gabbing about AlphaCode, ChatGPT, and their AI pals, patting them on the back for their coding prowess. But hold on to your hats, folks, because there's a new kid on the block, Devin. And let me tell you, Devin isn't your average AI. Oh no, it's like the Tony Stark of coding assistant. Devin swoops in, ready to take on coding tasks like a seasoned pro. It's not just spitting out lines of code, oh no, sire, it's making plans, cracking open the command line, and editing code like a boss. And get this, we can keep an eye on Devin's antics, just like we would with a real-life intern. It's like having a digital apprentice named Devin. But the burning question remains, just how good is Devin? Let's find out. Back in the day, my great-grandfather worked the fields until robots took over. Then my grandpa got replaced at the car factory, and even my dad lost out to robots flipping burgers. Not wanting to be the next victim, I dove into coding. But just when I thought I was safe, along came Copilot and Devin, making me wonder if I should have stuck to farming. At least the cows don't code. This AI can solve problems like a seasoned pro. How? By doing what any self-respecting coder would do, scouring Google and Stack Overflow for answers to copy and paste into its code. It's like having a cheat code for programming. But wait. There's more. Give Devin some requirements, and it'll whip up a plan faster than you can say syntax error. Then, it hits the web for API documentation, dives into coding, and runs its program. Sure, it might stumble a bit along the way, hello bugs, but it's like a relentless energizer bunny, stuck, stuck in an infinite loop until it cracks the code. It's like watching a tech-savvy detective solve a case, one stack overflow thread at a time. And, hey, if it means less midnight debugging sessions for us mere mortals, I say bring on the AI overlords. Imagine AutoGPT on steroids, where you've got this fancy LLM tech at the helm, but with the added superpower of reacting to feedback. That's where Devin struts in, making other tools look like outdated flip phones in a smartphone world. Now, picture this. Devin's out there smashing the software engineering benchmark, which is basically a test to see if AI can tackle real-world issues on GitHub. And let's be real, usually AI sucks big time at this stuff. GPT-4, barely scraping by at 1.74%. But Devin? Oh, Devin's lounging comfortably at 13.86%. Talk about an upgrade. But hold your horses, folks. Um, while Devin's making waves, it's not quite ready to steal the spotlight from us human software engineers. I mean, 133% success rate sounds impressive until you realize we need it to be at, you know, 100%. But hey, who knows? Maybe one day Devin will be running the show, and we'll all be kicking back with our feet up. And just when you thought things couldn't get crazier, along comes Google's Alpha Coder, running circles around competitive programmers. How? By churning out thousands of solutions simultaneously, like a coding DJ remixing tracks at a party. Buckle up, folks. The future's looking mighty exciting. Post a job on Upwork, thinking, work, thinking you'll have time for a coffee break. But before you can even grab your cup, Devin swoops in with a thousand different apps like it's raining software solutions. You're left staring at your screen, wondering if you accidentally stumbled into the matrix. And get this, Devin's not just playing around, it's out there, on Upwork, doing real jobs and getting paid for it. I mean, talk about stealing our thunder. Next thing you know, Devin's going to be asking for vacation days and a dental plan. But wait, there's more. Devin's like a Swiss army knife on steroids. It can learn new tech, build and deploy apps, fix bugs faster than you can say debug, and even train its own AI models. Heck, it's probably plotting world domination during its coffee breaks. Pretty impressive for a piece of code, huh? So picture this. We ask Devin to whip up a browser app where we can play the game of life. You know, like a digital pet for the coding world. But hold the phone, folks. While that's cool and all, it's like asking for a cheeseburger in a world of fast food joints. Pretty standard stuff. But wait, there's more. We challenge Devin to spice things up a bit. How about starting a new world with the letters of your own name? And while we're at it, let's squash a bug where the screen freezes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Devin struts its stuff, showing off its handiwork like a proud parent at a school play. And hey, it even claims to have fixed the bug. So we dive in to see the results and boy, are we impressed. It's like witnessing a unicorn riding a skateboard. Totally unheard of before. But hold your horses, we're not done yet. Sure, Devin can fix bugs and whip up some creative magic, but can it jump into existing code bases and
Let's dive into this open source project. Two, here, several processes were run simultaneously, unfortunately resulting in all of them failing without clear explanation. Fortunately, this case doesn't require a detailed description as others have also encountered it. Just toss the link in there and now, little AI, it's your turn to shine. It crafts a plan, sets up dependencies, checks out the website and gets coding. Now it claims to be done. And oh my, behold the beauty. It now displays status codes, providing more insights into the failures. Finally, we can inspect the code and give it the green light. So it can contribute to number three. Devon can even tackle a real paid computer vision project. It jumps right in, tackling the seemingly endless list of issues with both patience and lightning speed. And the cherry on top? We can follow along every step of the way, witnessing its human-like behavior firsthand. It's like watching a coding superhero in action, understandable and easy to evaluate. And to wrap it all up, Devon writes a detailed report pinpointing the damage on the road in those images like a seasoned detective.